What's up guys, welcome back to Left Coast Pops. Today we are starting a brand new series for y'all and it is called Mail Time Monday. So stick around and let's see what we got. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro today, we are opening up some packages I got over the past couple days. Uh, and I figure why not start a brand new segment where I open up my mail and you guys watch me do it. Because, hey, unboxings are fun, right? It's a good time. So this first box comes from our friend Money's Funko Pops. I will of course throw his Instagram right up here. And then his YouTube. And then I will link them down in the description. Make sure you go show Money some love. One of the coolest dudes uh, that I've met in this community. So, let's start this. I already got it opened up because I couldn't find a box cutter and I had to use my key. All right, looks like we got two pops. Oh, man, I was so happy to get these. Uh, Money went to a local Walmart and found some stuff that none of the rest of us have been able to find, and I'm so happy. He picked me up Dwight as Recyclops. Oh, man, so excited to get this. Uh, apparently, Walmarts have been taking them off the shelves now, which is pretty whack. Uh, but yeah, so I was pretty excited to get this one. That rad 2020 Spring Convention sticker. Look at that sticker. Oh, in all of its glory. The canceled Emerald City Comic Con. Uh, true story, I was actually buying Money's ticket uh, from him for Emerald City Comic Con, and I was gonna go in, in, in all this coronavirus business that was happening, uh, and then it ended up getting postponed, as everybody knows. So, ended up not getting to go, but he still picked up these pops for uh, me and a couple other people, so we were all really excited. Oh man, this thing is so cute, sorry. So, the other one that he picked up for us is, of course, the Flock Charmander. This thing is so adorable. You know what, I, this is a, this is a, we gotta crack it open. We gotta feel it, we gotta touch the, we gotta touch the Flock. Oh man, this thing is so sick. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, look at the little guy. He's so adorable. Oh, and the little translucent tail. Look at that thing. Oh, man, there is nothing that isn't perfect about this pop. Hashtag touch the flock, guys. We gotta always touch your flock. It's so good. I need 90 of them. Oh. So stoked to get these. Thanks so much to our friend Money's Funko Pops. Make sure, like I said before, go show him some love. Let's get this thing back in the box so we can keep this video going. Trash! As you guys know, my best Funko friends are We Gotta Have Our Pops, Madeline and Gary. As always, make sure you guys go show them some love. They are some of the coolest people that I've ever met in general, not even just in the Funko community. So it's really rad to, um, be able to you know talk to them and interact with them as much and as often as I do and they're the best and as you guys know they be buying a lot of pops and whenever they come across a lot that has some stuff in it that they think I would want they always hit me up so this is two boxes from Madeline and Gary very excited about this I know what's in there I'm sure you guys will be happy to see it too let me open these up real quick and we'll be right back all right and we're back trash Man, they do a great wrapping job. If you guys ever have a chance to buy pops from Madeline and Gary, just know that they do an amazing job wrapping everything. They they make sure it's all nice and tight in there, all real taken care of. Oh man, and I can already see through this wrapping, and I'm so excited that I got these pops. I'm beyond hyped. Um, as some of you may know, recently I got into the collecting Freddy Funkos game, and. Uh, they came across a lot that had a good handful of Freddy Funkos in it. So, this is a lot of Freddy's. Very excited. So let's get all these unwrapped here. So I can show them to you one by one. It's nothing too wild. I wouldn't say anything like too rare, but it's definitely stuff that I've missed out on because for a long time I was in denial that I would collect these. Um, but as you've seen as this channel evolves, we're constantly adding new things to the collection. Look at all that. See, they do a great job. So much bubble wrap. It looks great. Oh, man. Funko Shop exclusive Superhero Freddy. Very rad. Love it. Love the colorway. Gives uh, Joker Riddler vibes. Love it. And one of my favorite colors is purple, so. Oh, man, and he's got the little Funko logo on his chest. So good. 
he does kind of look like Buzz Lightyear. He's got Buzz Lightyear vibes with the... He's got, like, the green and purple crown up there, too. Very rad. Very stoked to have this one. Yeet! This one is... Ooh, the Freddy Fun Club. Freddy Funko. So he's holding that little sign that says Freddy Fun Club. Pretty cool. Got the Freddy Fun Club logo on the back. Um, I, I'm not going to front. I don't know a whole lot about these, but they are very cute. And I'm very happy to have them. Yeet! Unwrapping more Freddy Funkos. So many Freddy Funkos. Ooh, this one. He's holding a pop sign. Got a little pop joint on there. So right here, I love this logo on the back. It does have like kind of like um, Archie vibes, but uh, he's actually, if you guys didn't know this, Freddy Funko is based after three uh, characters slash people. So uh, number one is Squirt the Soda Kid. I will throw up a picture of Squirt the Soda Kid right here so you guys can see it. Number two is Bob's Big Boy. Throw that up right here. I'm sure everybody that collects Funko and collects Pops knows who Bob's Big Boy is. And number three, Mike Becker, who actually started Funko. Uh, it's based off of him. So combine those three together and their love child is my man, Freddy Funko. Yeet! Ooh, this is a fun one, guys. This is from Comic-Con 2018. San Diego Comic-Con 2018. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, out of 5,000 pieces, this is Freddy Funko dressed as Harry from Dumb and Dumber. How rad is this? Oh, man. Love it. If you guys don't like Dumb and Dumber, you should. I'm not sure what to tell you. So, Harry. Yeet! Oh, so this one is another one from San Diego Comic Con 2018. Another 5,000 piece. This is Freddy Funko dressed as Danny Zuko from Greece. Uh, it looks like instead of the R, the Rydell R, he's just rocking an F for Funko. Pretty rad. Stoked to have it. Another cool one to add to my Freddy Funko collection. What? Trash! All right, on to the next box. We're, we're blowing through this, guys. We're having a good time. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. If you're having fun, leave a comment down below. Leave me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Tell a friend. Drink some matcha. All right, six more pops to go, guys. Always a great packing job from my friends Gary and Madeline from We Gotta Have Our Pops. This one was the one I was excited about. Well, I'm most excited about. I was excited about all of these, but this is this is the one I was like, yes. This is the Green Glow Superhero Freddy Funko. It's from the Funko Shop, a 5,000 piece exclusive. I just love this thing because he looks so cool. Like, I can't get over it. Like the greens all mixed together. I feel like this this would have been good Emerald City Comic Con vibes, like if this would have been for Emerald City, but I think, I'm pretty sure it was just to the Funko shop. But man, cool pop, rad one. Probably my favorite one of the lot. Oh, this one I had to have because it is, when they released this, there was two colorways. One was, I believe like convention exclusive, and then the other one was on the Funko shop. Um, I got the, Pretty sure I got the convention exclusive one. I don't know. I got one from a mystery box and then I needed this one. This is Baseball Freddy Funko with like the Mariners vibes. That's from Emerald City Comic Con. Stoked about this one. I mean, if you guys don't know, I spent a lot of my childhood in Seattle. Love the place. Uh, Love the Mariners growing up. That was my first baseball game ever went to. And so anytime I can get Freddy Funko dresses as the Seattle Mariner. I'm going to be all about it. This is pretty sick. I love it. This is another rad one from San Diego Comic-Con 2018. I'm pretty sure this guy just had a box from there. But um, this is the Black Robot Freddy Funko. 5,000 piece limited. Uh, another really cool one. I love the way the black and the gold are on this piece. And the slight like metallic vibes on the black. So sick. And then you add in the little flag that he's holding. It's an instant classic in my opinion. Love the thing. Very excited to add to the collection. Robot Freddy Funko. Mm. So this one is from 2016. It is a Funko Shop exclusive Freddy Funko and he's holding a little Funko Shop sign. Pretty cool one. Funkoshop.com. Funko-shop.com. 
If you like Freddy's, you kind of need this one, right? Another 2016 Funko Shop exclusive. It is the Nerd Freddy Funko. His glasses are a little uh, crooked there, but uh, I'll probably jump in there and fix those. Rad one. Stoked to have it to the collection. Easy addition. He's got a cute little bow tie on. I love it. He's got his khaki pants. Because he's a nerd, and I guess nerds wear khakis. Is that, is that a safe assumption? Let me know in the comments. Do nerds wear khakis? This one is another Funko Shop exclusive. It is the Happy Birthday Freddy. Pretty cool to have. I mean, about a month out from my birthday, so excited to get that one. Pretty cute. He's wearing a little, or sorry, wearing? How is he wearing a present? Holding a little present, being adorable as always. Freddy Funko, killing the game. All right, cool guys. The last one we're opening from this haul from our friends, we gotta have our pops, is a piece that, uh, I mean, I honestly could have picked it up myself, but the price was right, they had it on hand, and it came with a cool little Beckett certificate, and they shipped it in a stack. Stack boy. Last one is going to be Jason Voorhees. It is signed by Kane Hodder. He played Jason in, okay, so let me make sure I get this right. Seven, eight, Jason Goes to Hell, and in one of my personal favorites, I think it's criminally underrated, Jason X. I thought that movie was so badass. If you like Jason X, please leave me a comment down below so we can start a Jason X fan club. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is an easy pickup. Has a cool certificate of authenticity with it. Um, the last time I saw Kane Hodder at a convention, they weren't doing this, the COAs. So I figured it was an easy pickup, pretty cool one. I mean, pretty yeah, cool signature. It's in silver on there, nice. And shipped in a stack. So shout out to my friends, uh, Gary and Madeline. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Mail Time Monday. Uh, if you did, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I'll hold on to all my mail for the week and maybe you guys can open up my bills with me too. We'll see. Um, but uh, like always guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can see this beautiful face on your feet as much as humanly possible. And uh, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Pops. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Left Coast Pops. Follow my wife at twitch.tv slash gothposh. Make sure you follow my friends at the Funko Collector Society. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see y'all next time. Peace! That's a stacky right there. Anybody? No? We're not laughing about this yet? I, I am. Hilarious. Give me $100,000. I'll give you shitty mystery boxes.